Tonight, engineers at NASA Langley Research Center in Hampton are working to send astronauts to Mars and beyond. They're developing a heat shield. All new tonight, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson shows us this important project. I'm here at NASA's Langley Research Center where they've been developing an inflatable heat shield. What is that? It's a heat shield designed to protect crewed and uncrewed missions. Before we show you that though, we're going to talk about what heat shields are and how they've helped our spacecrafts for the past several decades. Back in the 1960s, during the early crewed missions, heat shields kept our astronauts safe upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. You can see the charring left behind. The extreme heat is generated as a fast-moving capsule gets slowed down by the air in our atmosphere, and that creates a lot of friction and heat. NASA uses heat shields on all spacecrafts entering our and other planets' atmospheres, like the Mars Perseverance rover encountered in 2020 when it was about to land on the planet. That brings us to today with NASA Langley Research Center leading the way on the low Earth orbit flight test of an inflatable decelerator, otherwise known as lofted. And that provides you with a lot more surface area to slow things down. So you can, so you can use it for larger payloads coming back to Earth. But you can also use it to land in places on Mars we never could reach before because we were limited by the, the amount we could slow things down. Even though it's inflatable, according to NASA, it's 15 times stronger than steel. On the outside of the circular bladders of air is a layer to keep out the heat. The thermal protection system that we have on Lofted will protect it up to temperatures up to 3,000 degrees. Another benefit to making a heat shield inflatable is that you can cut down on the weight. We save mass, and every time you save mass on things like the thermal protection system and the heat shield, that's more mass you can put on what you want to launch. The test for Lofted will be coming up in early November, and we're going to have more details out on Wavy.com. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson at Langley Research Center, 10 on your side.